welcome back to vlogs how fun it is saturday do i normally work saturdays no but i'm going to today i was going to start a new project today but it requires sun and it is cloudy so that's not gonna happen um in the last video i did the house tour and i talked about starting another brand and then i never mentioned it again and people were like bitch more so let's talk about that shall we so i've started another brand i haven't actually really done much promoting of it it has an instagram it does have a website I haven't had any sales but to be fair i haven't really been doing anything and it is called that apparel co um and as the name suggests it's just a apparel and accessories. I love doing the embroidery for Holly & Co and like all the Dog Mummy Your Club sweatshirts, the Flip the Breed tees, all those things. But because Holly & Co is a dog brand, I feel like I would be cheating a bit if I put non-dog related apparel on there. So I was like, I'm just going to start another brand that I can do all that stuff with because I have so many ideas, but I can't do them on Holly & Co. You know what I mean? So I started another brand simply so that I can use my embroidery machine <laughs> because, you know, that was freaking expensive and then I feel like it's being wasted just by doing dog stuff. I have different sweatshirts and hoodies and just like different funny relatable sayings. I will link it below. But I also have a whole bunch of different accessories and fun shit. So I'll show you. These might be a little bit squished because, you know, they've been in transit but mm -hmm. scrunchies and also this is the prettiest freaking fabric um there's the branding that apparel coat oh my nails look cute with that so you know scrunchies this one doesn't have a thing on it yet but green satin oh my god i love that color and these two together perfect um here's another one the rest of them are all in a crate somewhere um, we also have, I have no idea where those are, little ruffle pouches, Jan's been making those. Um, I'll put them up on the screen somewhere. Key fobs, this is something that I have wanted to do for ages. So I'm gonna show you some of my faves. If you wanna see all of them, you'll have to go on the bloody web, fire warning char. Um, Hello, how cute are these? This is the cutest fabrics ever. Um, I actually, funnily enough, bought all of these fabrics for Holly & Co Valentine's bows, but they came, the fabric came too late. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like people aren't really buying bows anymore. Probably because I made a tutorial on how to make them. I think I've actually ruined the bow community. I'm sorry. But anyway, so I decided to make them into key fobs for that apparel co instead. So there's all of those and it's got cute little tags and stuff. So this is where a lot of our money has been going. That's why I'm always like, Holly Co has no money. It's because it's all tied up in this brand. And then obviously, because I haven't really promoted it. Um, also, I've got the blank key chain thingies that I'm going to make for this brand as well. Holly Co also has them. We've also got different hair clips. I thought these were really cute. This one, I think I got this like as an extra from the company I bought from. That was nice. Um, kind of matches my outfit. So cute. Um, and then I've got some other different ones. I mean, if you want to see the whole range, you can go on the website. I don't even know if these are on there yet because I did not have time to photograph them because I was moving. Oh, I've got to show you this actually. Well, here's this one as well. This is a new velvet color. Um, I might actually, I think I have a bow. I think I have a bow for this for Holly & Co. So that will probably go up on the website at some stage when I'm organized. But I just have to show you these. Now, they're, I guess they're practical. I was going to say they're not practical, but they are. Um, <laughs> it's a mini backpack. <laughs> How cute is this? Um, also, if we put like a little eyelet in here, this could totally be a poo bag holder for Holly & Co. Um, but how bloody cute is it? I mean, just like hang this off of your handbag or something and then you can put all your essentials in it. Uh, at the moment, it just has tissue in it. But honestly, cutest bloody thing ever. So um, I'll have to photograph them. Very hard to photograph just because it's a very awkward product. But um, comes with the lobster clasp at the top and a really nice zip and... Jen's a bloody genius. So if you're wondering what she's been doing, um, these things, this one as well, 
I am obsessed with this fabric. Everything sort of like retro floral, floral. You can tell I love floral. And then this one, this is velvet. Um, oh, so it's all matching, but this is velvet. Like insane. I have this in a scrunchie somewhere where I don't know, but like, can we just talk about these? I just want it. Like, I don't actually have any use for it really because I don't have knick-knacky things and I don't go anywhere, but I just want one because it's cute. To be fair, I might just put one of these on like Albus and Percy's leash and put poo bags in it. So they're all the things that that apparel co has. Um, and then obviously I'll show you the website. Actually, I will just talk to you while I go through the website and then I'll put it up. So this is the website. I'm actually kind of updating Holly and Co's website at the minute as well to sort of look like this one because I really love these little, um, I don't know exactly what they're called. I think they're called like marble collections and it just reminds me, um, of like Instagram story highlights and I love the look of that. I think it's just very trendy and I don't know, it's cooler than going into the menu and being like, oh, sweatshirts, t-shirts. So I, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm actually using this theme for Holly & Co as well. The theme was not cheap and I had to buy two because obviously I've got two websites, but you know. And then I feel like the brands kind of mesh together a little bit because the websites will be similar. Um, so this is the website. It's not finished by any means. It is published. Like it is public and you can go and look at it, but, um, there's not much going on. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got scrunchies. I'm actually so proud of, I, I really liked these photos originally. Now I'm looking at them and I'm kind of like, oh, this stuff just looks weird. But this one in particular, the Emerald City scrunchie. Oh, I just think that it looks so stunning and all of my backdrops that I've got for Holly & Co work so well with this brand. Um, and as you can see, I just put some like jewelry in the background, you know, um, I think that it's just so cute. Hardly got any description or anything just because I'm lazy as fuck. I've also got this. That's, that's a really good website. I love going on people's websites and they have random shit on there. Like fill out this section because <laughs> I haven't filled out their website. That's me. <laughs> Um, and then you've obviously got apparel, mini backpack, jewelry. Uh, oh, here's the little ruffle pouches I was talking about. How cute are they? They're so cute. So Jen's working on those. Um, 15% off your first order. I don't even know if that code is active. Somebody try it. Somebody sign up to the email and let me know. <laughs> um, you know, I've just been playing around with it. So it is public, but because no one's really looking at it, I'm not that concerned. Um, and then it just links to that apparel co's Instagram and then the Holly & Co YouTube. And that's why I was talking about changing the YouTube channel name, but then everyone's like, keep Holly & Co. So I don't know. hopefully people don't get confused. Um, so let's go into the sweatshirt section for example, and you can see what I've been talking about. So I've just been doing mock-ups on like fake models because I think that it looks better than on Holly & Co. How it's just like the, the blank. Um, Holly & Co is a bit hard though because since all like the dog stuff just has the white background and I'm quite anal about these types of things. I like the apparel to also have the white background but you know. Um, so that's what's going on and I've just been doing random ones. Um, I haven't actually made any of these. Actually, that's a lie. I made this on a t-shirt for me. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but the rest of these, I haven't actually made them. I've just done the mock-ups. Um, because the sweatshirts are too expensive. Oh, I made these two. You can actually see them on the Instagram. But yeah, I haven't made anything else only because these sweatshirts are so expensive to buy just on their own and, you know. Um, so I'm gonna go and show you this t-shirt. So I have the iron heating up because the t-shirt's really crushed. <laughs> um, but I thought in the meantime, I would show you some other scrunchies cause I was just looking at them and I forgot how amazing they are. So the lighting in here isn't great. Um, it's quite yellowy. Let's take you somewhere else. Lighting will be better in here. So this one absolutely bloody stunning i mean it doesn't match my outfit but yes and then more satin now really purse he's just running off with a scrunchie great um pink is this not the most gorgeous shade of pink you've ever seen in your life yes if your answer's not yes i also just noticed that these scrunchies match my nails can you tell that i like pink and orange 
fluoro orange scrunchie satin. Like, I can't. And then I'm gonna show you this fabric that I just got. I haven't made it in a scrunchie yet. I don't even think I have all the stuff to make scrunchies um, because Jen was gonna do that, but you know. The black and white check, the like the racist skater boy type of like, I'm obsessed with this. So I've got this, this is satin by the way, if you couldn't tell. Um, I've got that, haven't made it yet. Can't make it because I don't think I have any elastic, but you know. So let me iron this t-shirt and then I'll show you. Okay, so here's the t-shirt. I know you're gonna be like, oh, you can hardly read it, but I made it with this color thread because it was for me and that's kind of the vibe I was going for. Um, obviously when I sell them, I will do different colors, unless you want this, I don't know. So it says Drama Queen, Tennis Club, Malibu, California, 1901. I thought that that was really damn cute. Okay, I found some of my other things. Yellow, yellow satin scrunchie. Kind of matches my outfit actually. Very cute, obsessed. Um, obsessed with everything bright, clearly. So I found some of these ones that I actually have made. The butterfly green emerald sweatshirt. Um, I think I'm gonna make a bunch of other colors and I'll do like pink and have a darkerish pink um, butterfly and maybe like a tanny brown color. I feel like that would be cute. Hell, Albus. Um, this one, it says, happy days ahead. Um, the, this dude messed up a bit, so, um, I don't know, I'll have to fix that in the file, but that's that. Very cute. And this one. Um, if you don't know Harry Potter, then you will not find this funny, amusing, or cute at all, but <laughs> it's pink and it says, Abby birthday, um, which is the birthday cake that Harry gets from Hagrid in Harry Potter, if you didn't know. So that's why the writing looks like that, because that's what the cake looks like. That's not just like bad embroidery, that's, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, what the fuck, Albus? Really? He's so happy with himself too. I thought I would just give you a little insight of the business. Um, obviously there's a long ways to go. Starting a business from scratch sucks. Um, in saying that though, I've had a couple of reels that I've done with that apparel co ages ago, cause I haven't done anything for a while. Um, and they got like 5,000 views, which I know doesn't sound a lot, but on Holly & Co, sometimes if I do a reel, I'm lucky to get a thousand views. Like it's actually been kind of nice. Um, starting a brand from scratch, I guess, because when you get to a point like Holly & Co where you've got 60,000 Instagram followers, for example, your engagement is shite. You know, like I hardly get any likes or anything anymore. So it's nice to be able to start from scratch and actually have people seeing your stuff. I need to go rescue the scrunchies from Albus. Happy Sunday! It was really sunny before and it was going to be beautiful and now it's overcast and looks like it's going to rain. So the perfect day to work. Um, so I wouldn't normally work on a weekend. I sort of said to myself when I moved into my house that weekends I would actually have off and live life like a normal person. Um, not happening. We did a clearance last night on our plain velvets and it went off. Did not expect that at all. We've done a few little offers here and there lately and like they're okay, but they're nothing like they used to be. So I was not expecting much from this just because of how the economy is and people went off. Like my phone last night, I had to put it down cause it just would not stop. So thank you if you placed an order because I really appreciate it. Um, Jan and I were discussing yesterday uh, about the plain velvet and we want to get some other things in and we're kind of like something has to give. The plain velvets don't, like they sell, but compared to everything else, absolutely nowhere near. Um, and a lot of businesses now have velvet and they have the planes and we kind of just want to be different. Um, I mean, it's nice to see people getting velvet because obviously Jan was the first to make velvet dog accessory way back in 2018. And so to see people now getting them and it's like a big thing and we can look at it and be like, we did that. Like it's great, but we just, Jan and I are very much like a, if we don't have something unique to offer for our business, what's the point? Um, I always say that when people are like, 
I want to start a business. If you don't have something unique, then there's not really any point because it's so saturated. And we want people to come to Holly & Co because it's like, oh, I can only get that from them. You know what I mean? And the plain velvets are just everywhere. And as I said, they don't really move that well. Like they're very slow moving stock. So we just decided that it was time for it to go. Um, I think a lot of people thought that all our velvet was going because there were some comments that's like, I'm going to miss your velvet. And I'm like, it's not all going. The patterned velvet's still saying like sunflower child and Nonna's garden, etc. You know, like the ones that have patterns on them because they sell amazingly. And I don't think other people really do patterned velvet. I might've seen leopard once or twice, but I've never seen like a Nonna's garden, for example. So that's kind of like our thing. You do have to get way more quantity with the patterned ones, which sucks, like 400 poo bags. But you know, whatever, <laughs> we'll just do it. So yes, our plain velvet is on clearance. It's basically at cost price, if not less. So get on that, because once it's gone, it's gone. Um, there is quite a lot of some of them, so they'll probably still be moving for quite some time. But um, that's what's going on, because we want to be able to bring in some other things. Um, I'm not really going to talk about it just because like it's not set in stone yet and you know what people are like. So a different kind of fabric that I don't think I've seen anywhere. We did it back when we handmade stuff um, and it sold quite well. We didn't have it in harnesses, I don't believe. So we're gonna give that a go. Also represent my Apparel Co satin scrunchie, go and buy it. And old school dog mummager. I have every single one of the colors of these tees. Thought I'd better get a start on doing some of those orders. Um, I've also got some wholesales. We sold like two lots of Le Chit wholesales. We do sell a lot of Le Chit, um, which is quite worrying only for the fact that once we run out of Le Chit, I don't know if I'll be able to afford to buy it again because it was a lot of money. But anyway, um, so Le Chit's still selling real well. So there's like nearly a hundred orders there. That's a lot. Um, a couple of those were from last week. Let's have a look. Like we did a buy one, get one free offer for Valentine's Day and it was okay. Like we had orders, but it wasn't, you know, I was thinking it would be pretty good because buy one, get one free is basically half price. Like it's 50% off sale. Um, this person has three different orders that I have to do. They bought um, a lot of our bespoke velvet bows, which I think I have all of them, but they bought party bows and for some reason I just don't have all the party bows. So I'm going to actually have to make them. So we might do that today. I haven't made a bow for months. So let's see. And I also, <laughs> where is it? I had to print off my own pattern. By the way, if you want to buy the Holly & Co bow pattern, like it's on Etsy. I think it's like 20 bucks. Go and buy it. But I had to print it off because I don't have a pattern. <laughs> So we'll be able to see if it's actually any good today. Um, and then there was someone else that bought... They bought four of the initial bandanas that have the letters on them. G, T, P and A. Um, I don't think I have any of those embroidery files made up. So I might like show you me doing the embroidery file. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Let's go. I've managed to find you a hidey hole up on the um, apparel shelf. So, these are all the ones that I have to do. Just cover their name. Um, so I have some of them, I have some of them, but yeah, the party bows. I thought I put all of them in stock, but obviously the party bows, I was like, no, if someone buys one, I'll just make it. Cause we don't sell them that often. I mean, they're expensive, I suppose. <laughs> That's Percival, everybody. Okay, so let's make these. It's been a really long time since I've made it. Jan had to give me the fabrics. He was gonna be making bows, but I have to teach her. She wants me to teach her and I'm like, bitch, there's a tutorial. <laughs> Just watch the YouTube tutorial. So, um, let's make some bows. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Because as I said, it's been a long time since I made a bow, but we will give it our best shot.
way more than I thought. Life is good. <laughs> Life is good. Um, I think I'm just going to do the orders in order if I can find the things. Because it only seems fair that people that ordered first get it first. So let's do that, I guess. Happy Monday, the 27th of February. Um, I stopped filming like the start of the week because all the orders were basically the same thing. Obviously the plain velvet went off. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but it was all just the same thing. I thought, do you people really just want to see the same thing over and over? And also there were so many orders that if I speed it up so that it's a reasonable time, it'll just be like mm, me across the screen. So. Let's go and have a look at all the orders I packed. I'm about to take, well, it's 8.15. Post doesn't open till nine, but I'm about to take all these bags to the post office and I'm worried because Deb is not gonna be able to cope. I'll give her the option. I'll be like, do I bring all four bags now or do I come back tomorrow? So anyway, this is all I've done. I've already taken, I think three bags, two or three bags through the post, but um, the reason these aren't stacked up like full, full well, they're pretty full, but um, it's just because velvet's heavy. So each of these bags weighs a lot, <laughs> so I had to spread it out. And that one holds out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take them to the post in 45 minutes. And hopefully she just takes all the bags at once because um, the orders need to go out because I was very late sending them out. I actually put a thing on our Instagram to say, working as fast as we can. I only had two emails um, and both people were really nice when I messaged them. was like, hey, we're trying our best. Like it'll be out Monday morning, which it is. It is gonna be out Monday morning. Um, they replied and they're like, amazing, thanks. And I was like, good. 
because I thought people were going to be like, you hey, bitch. But you have to remember that when we have a sale and it goes off like this one has, yeah, there's no way that we can keep, I think our normal processing is one to three business days, which there's no way. So um, today I have, I think I have two wholesales left. One has um, a few birthday beach bandanas, so I'll be making those. Luckily I just got cream poplin, so I'll be able to make them. And it also has less shit. In the past two weeks maybe, I reckon I've done 10 plus wholesales that either include a dozen Le Shits or it's just an order on its own for like 20 something Le Shits, which is great. It's really, really good. Um, the only problem is that it's really expensive to send Le Shit overseas because it's so heavy. So for example, um, sending 24 boxes of Le Shit to the US costs about $87 express. So I've only been charging the people $45 because I feel really, really bad. Um, so I've been absorbing all of that cost, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm going to do, hello Percival, I'm going to do those wholesales and there are a couple of other orders. So I guess I will film those and then that will be the end of the vlog. I always forget to end these and then it just rolls on. So it's been over a week, but you know, we, we just love to do it. Um, so I'm going to try next time I do a vlog to keep it to like three days or like a week or whatever. Um, I also worked all over the weekend, um, which I said I wasn't going to do when I moved. I was like, no, I'll only work Monday through Friday and then weekends are off limits. But we were so far behind because... Wednesday, um, Roscoe came over in the afternoon and we went to the tip because I had so much stuff from like all the flat packs and everything. So we took all that and by the time we did that, day over. And then the next day I went and got my nails done. Takes so long to drive to town, y'all know. So that was an entire day gone that I couldn't work. So yeah, I was very far behind. Uh, and because it's velvet that we're selling and I am putting rivets on them, which in hindsight, I probably should have said they don't come with rivets because I've just used basically all of our collar and leash rivets and they are so expensive and I've just put them on products that are worth nothing, which is annoying, but you know, um, I guess it's good to have branding on it, but yeah, so I had to work on the weekend and also this Friday... It's my birthday Ooh. Um, and I think I've worked on my birthday since I started Holly & Co. So this year I am making an oath that I will not work, okay? I will not work this Friday, which means I'm busting my gut every day to get every single order out. Yes, Percy agrees. I'm trying to get all the wholesales out. We also had on our, I just realized, because we have an external wholesale website that people use. And then we have our personal wholesale website. On our personal wholesale website, this person bought last week or the week before, I think, and it was like a couple hundred dollar order, which is pretty normal for people when they're starting out because they just want to test the product, I guess. Um, and then this person came back a few days later and placed an almost a thousand dollar order. So whoever you are, thank you very, very much. But that's kind of a biggish order, so. I'm going to do all of those today. I'm going to film it for you and then I will end the vlog and enjoy my birthday at the end of the week. I thought I would just mention about these little Ziploc-y bags because I know a lot of people are probably looking and being like, wow, that's a lot of waste. Um, we actually, so I give them to my brother who works for a joinery company um, and they actually use them to put like all their um, screws and nuts and bolts and hardware and that type of thing in them. So when they're out on a job, I can just put them in that because before I don't know what they were doing, but they weren't using them. And he's like, they are the best thing ever. And whenever they run out, they're like to my brother um so where'd you get those bags from because we need more <laughs> so i um save them all up and then whenever i see him i just give him a whole bunch of them um 
So that's what we do with them. He always says he's going to get me like a picture of them using them so that I can put it on our social media and stuff, but he never does. So, uh, yeah, that's what we do to just try and recycle stuff because, yeah, it is unfortunate that the products come in plastic, but they have to obviously for um, shipment. And then in terms of those other soft plasticky ones that just have like the sticky closure, um, I used to recycle them in like the soft plastics recycle program thingy that you can do at Coles and Woolies. But yeah, unfortunately, they don't do that anymore because the factory blew up or <laughs> whatever happened. So at the moment, unfortunately, just having to throw them away. But yeah, that's not really my problem, I suppose. So that's what we do. I thought I would just mention that because I feel as though a lot of people will see all of these, you know, um, in our vlogs and be like, oh my God, look at all that plastic waste. No, it does actually get recycled um, as much as we can. By the way, poo bags are not meant to come with these plastic rolls because that's disgusting. But um, occasionally our manufacturer Fs up and gives us the plastic poo bags, which jokes on him because he only charges us the price for tissue paper. You actually pay extra for the plastic poo bag rolls, but I take them out because I'm not gonna give those to people. That's gross. Also for anyone watching that was thinking about uh, stocking our products, this is what we do. Um, I don't know of any other brand that does this if you wholesale from them. Um, we take everything out of the plastic, mostly just because I know that like I will do the right thing with it. I don't know what other people will do with it. Um, and let's be honest, if you got a wholesale and it was just all plastic, you'd probably be like, Ugh. Not very nice. We put all the swing tags on and it's packaged like this. So literally all you have to do is get it out of the box, put a price tag on it, I guess, and put it on the shelf. Easy. And our wholesale prices are the same, I would assume, as everybody else. We also offer larger discounts the more that you buy, like tiered pricing. So if you're willing to spend a lot of money, yes, Percival, you will get money off. So why choose Holly & Co besides the fact that all of our products look stunning together? Because um, you only have to get it out of the box and you don't have to do anything. So, it's Percy. Percy, shut up! Also another thing I just thought of as a benefit for taking it out of the plastic, you can see if it's got you know, little loose, th not loose threads, but excess threads and whatnot, and then you can trim them off. If they're in the plastic and you don't inspect them, people might get a faulty product. Jen and I have packed wholesales before and taken something out and the logo's been upside down. Well, if it's in the plastic. 